In this video, I'm going to do a run through of the kit that I use with all the various components for the Arduino lessons. So obviously here we have our Arduino. Now this one is a um, Chinese version of the Arduino and that comes in several different forms. Here we have another one. This is also a Chinese version of the Arduino. Uh, and here we have the, um, the real of official Arduino board, the Arduino Uno. Um, so it doesn't really matter which, as long as it's um, working for you. Um, and obviously we have our USB Type B um, cable, and depending on the connector that you have here, uh, you'll need whichever one fits into that. Uh, I've got a little mini breadboard here. And this is quite sufficient for um, all of the lessons in this series. Although you might want to get something a bit more substantial. So this one here, obviously quite quite a bit bigger than the Mini. Uh, and it also has the, um, the positive and negative rails running down each, each side. So that's quite handy too. We have our jumper leads. So various jumper leads. So these usually come in a pack like this, all joined together. And you should have a variety of um, what they call plug, plug to plug. So with the, um, the metal end there, and also the socket end too. So plug the socket, you can also get socket to socket. Here we have a lot of our smaller components. So we've got some resistors. We've got a potentiometer. Um, LEDs, capacitors, and some transistors and diodes. So just a bit of a run through on these. With um, the resistors, um, you might want to have a range of resistors. So here is just a, a range of resistors. And I'll, I'll include this on the description for this, um, this video post. And a range of capacitors as well. So once again, I'll include that list on the description. With um, the transistors, the ones I use mainly, these ones here. So there's NPN and PNP transistors. And this is the diode that I used most often. And here we have a couple of DC motors. So these are 6 to 12 volt small DC motors. And with them, I have this L298N full H bridge driver. So that's quite a handy um, component, quite, um, quite affordable too. Uh, battery pack. So this one is for 6 volts, but you can get these in a variety of different um, sizes to suit. And here we have a ultrasonic sensor unit, HCSR04. Um, so that's used as a sensor for sensing movement. Also, this little infrared sensor also can be used for sensing movement. Also over here, we have a small hobby servo motor. So this one is quite a small one, but you can get larger sizes for these. Um, but the small one is sufficient for the learning kit. Also with the motors, it would be good to include a stepper motor. So this one here is a 48 step stepper motor. Um, but you, any stepper motor that you have, this one here is a um, 200 step stepper motor. This one came out of a old photocopy machine. Um, so these can be found in old printers, um, old photocopiers. Um, so it's a good source of, of getting your stepper motors. Um, and the other things are that you, um, you can get a range of different um, stackable shields. This one here has the... Um, the breadboard on top it's quite good for doing some prototyping um, and stacking your sensors on top of on etc 
uh, and this shield here is uh, contains a real-time clock and a slot for a um, SD card so that's quite handy if you're doing some data logging uh, but I'm going to go over that in one of the future lessons um, so what I'll do that was quite a bit to take take in I will include a list of everything I've got in this set uh, along with um, the comments in for this video um, so that you don't have to remember all of what I've just said now thank you